everyone, welcome back. My name is Stephanie Yin. In this video, we're going to talk about the top five common mistakes in March by 9 to 1 Q players. A lot of players make mistake on their judgment, whether they should escape or they should make a base in a fight. So here are the examples. So in the actual game, Black played small knight's move and tried to run to the center. The question here is, is this a good move or Black has a better move? So when Black plays here, yes, we, we have enough space, eye space over here, and now we're very close to the center. We have a lot of space later on to make eyes, but we do have a better move in order to settle this group. So black should play here to block white getting to the territory here. So the reason why this move is better than escaping to the center is because when black blocks here, black not only have 10 points, two points here in total, there are 12 points, but also you already have enough space to make eyes. So in the actual game, black played this move and later on, White played one space jump. And when Bl White played a one space jump, the I space now got reduced. So in the actual game, Black played an actual move to protect the group. And you will see this move, this exchange move is White Sente. So the difference between this move and the actual game is the territory, Black's territory gets smaller and White's territory get bigger. But if black blocks here, not only blocks the territory is getting bigger and white doesn't have any territory on the side. So in this example, when you can make base and the territory at the same time, it's better to block instead of escaping to the center. All right, so let's take a, another example. So black invaded here and tried to take all of the territory on the side from white. And white one space jumped and attack this stone, but at the same time, white is trying to enclose this stone. So the question here is, should black make the base on the top or should black escape to the center? So the correct answer is black should escape in this situation. And it's because if black try to make eyes on the top, yes, we can, black actually can make one eye on the top, but it's not enough to make a two eyes. We only have a one eye, it's too small to make the base on the top. And also we don't have the two space extension on the side because we already have a, a white pincer, the stone. So in this example, escaping to the center is much better than making the eyes on the top because that's too small. So that's the fifth common mistake. Let's move to the next one. In a fight, a lot of players only focus on attacking. Sometimes they forgot to protect themselves. So it's better to have play a move with attacking and defending at the same time. So here is the example. In the actual game, white played one space jump here to attack these two black stones. So before white played this move, let's analyze the situation first. Black has one weak group over here. And now it's white's turn. So white actually can attack black first. But don't forget these two black white stones are not settled and not strong yet. So in this situation, white not only should attack these two black stones, but also white should protect these two white stones as well. So in the actual game, white played this one space jump. Is it a good move or not very good? The answer is, this is not very good because after white played one space jump, the bottom area is very open. So that black played a small knight's move and made this exchange on the bottom. So after this move, after this exchange move, you will see it's very easy for black to make eyes on the bottom and also black has very clear paths to escape. So where is the correct move then? The correct move is White should kick here. And when white kick here, the next move white is trying to do is connect it on the bottom. So if white can connect it on the bottom, not only the group on the bottom area 
it's connected with the top area, but also white has a lot of territory, but connecting. So when white kicked here, black needs to extend and separate these two, two groups. And now white should block again to make the base on the side. So now you will see white has one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So when you have a more than seven spaces, the group is already alive. So not only white has more space or more eye space to settle, but also now black doesn't have any eye space on the bottom. So this spot here for white and the knight's move for black is the vital point in this fight. So that's the fourth common mistake in March. Let's move to the next one. In the mid game, we can not only focus on attacking, we should also know where to invade. So the direction of invasion is very important. And here is the example. So white is trying to expand the territory on the top. So white played this move in the actual game. The question here is where should black play to invade? Because the top area looks very big and white is keep expanding the, the territory on the top. So now it's a good time to invade. So should we invade here or invade here? The answer is, of course, we should invade the larger area or the wider area because it's easier for us to make ice. So since we already know we should invade over here, but this area still looks very big. We have a one, two, three, four, five, and five lines that we can invade. And where is better to invade? And where is the best spot to invade? So when you look at this shape, most of people's first intuition will put in the middle, or in the middle, over here. Is it the best move? The answer is no. You actually have a better move than invasion here. So the correct move is here. So after I explain why this move is better than this one, you will have a better understanding why this move is not as good as this one. Okay, so after black plays this invasion move here, black actually give itself three options. Slide to the side so that you will have a lot of eye space on the top, or play the one space extension and you will get some eye space on the top, or you can jump to the center. So this invasion move has a three purposes. Okay, so after white black invasion here, if white wants to block black to make slide or make the eye space on the top, white needs to block here. And now you can make one space extension. And since the top area is very open, it's very big, it's very difficult for white to enclose it or cap. Because if white cap here, black can one space jump. So if white cap over here, same thing, um, black is able to jump to the center. If white wants to uh, play the one space pincer here, now black can make this exchange move first and get some eye space on the top and then jump to the center. So now it's easier for black to make ice in the center because since you already have some ice space on the top. So the reason why this move is better than this move is because if we just jump here directly, white will definitely block it on this area because now you don't have enough space to make an extension. The only thing you can do is jump to the center. But if we can make one space extension first, then we will need to do, all we need to do is just make one, one eye in the center because we already have some eye space on the top. Okay, so the direction of invasion is very important. Now let's move to the next one. During a fight situation, make sure you are going to finish the fight before your tanuki. So here is the example. So on the side, Black group over here and white group over here are fighting each other. So in the actual game, white, black just played a small next move here to expand the eye space on the side and try to take away white's eye shape. So in the actual game, white tanuki white played invasion move over here, which is so wrong because on this side, the fight hasn't completed yet and white just started another fight. So where is the correct move then? So in the actual game, white played here and then 
black peeped and a white connect and then black played a diagonal move here and now you will see this stone can never connect it anymore if white pushes here black can block and now this stone is very very in danger and the top group is not settled yet so more urgent here is for white is to connect these two groups so the correct move should be diagonal move even though it looks very small the, the the shape looks very small but make sure you need to connect yourself first and then you can attack your opponent better okay so that's on um, the tanuki questions so make sure you're going to finish the fight before your tanuki now let's move to the next one In a fighting situation, not every sente move is a good move. So do not play a necessary sente in a fight. So here is the example. The white played this move in, on, the, on the board. So you may, you already, probably when you look at the game, you notice that this entire dragon is in danger because white doesn't have any eyes yet. But at the same time, black group over here is also cut of by white and is surrounded and it doesn't have a two eyes. So these two huge groups and these two dragons are in a liberty fight. So black, white played move here. The move, the purpose of this move is white is trying to increase the liberty and at the same time white is trying to connect with the group on the left. So here is very important moment for black because this group over here is not solely connected with the bottom group. So the next move is very important for black because not only black needs to connect this weak group with the bottom group, but also what black needs to prevent white to connect with the left group. So in the actual game, black will play the peep here, which is a sente because white needs to connect. So after this exchange move, black thinks, after this, um, I probably already blocked a way to connect, but uh, no, that's wrong. So the correct move should be honey here. So after black honey is here, you may think, okay, um, white can connect right now because there's a, a one space jump. But after this move, there are two cutting points in the center. So if black goes here, if white connects, Black can cut on the top. If white connects on top, black can push here and cut these two stone, two, two groups. But if we make this exchange move first, and then we Hane and protect our group over here and connect with the bottom group, now the one space jump will work because there's no more cutting point over here. If you push, now white can connect. If you, if you go on the top, that's not sente anymore. White can just simply connect with the left group and then the entire group is alive. That means the top group, black group is dead. Okay, so make sure you don't play the unnecessary sente in the fight unless you have to. So my name is Stephanie Yin. If you have any more questions, you can follow our Twitter page and our Facebook page or go to our website. So I will see you next time.